Hi, this is Chef Colleen with Jingherbs.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make our magic gynostemma elixir. Gynostemma is our featured herb in this elixir, and it's an all-around adaptogen. It's a really amazing Chinese herb, one of the top in Chinese uh, medical pharmacopoeia. So um, it's a good all-around elixir. Again, it's adaptogenic. It really supports longevity. It's a powerful antioxidant. It has so many benefits, I can't really list them all but this tonic is going to be supporting just general health all over. It's going to be good for so many things. Great to have every day. We're going to get started right now. I'm starting with about two cups of warm coconut water. And I'm using coconut water because coconut water is very hydrating, especially in warmer months. And it has a lot of electrolytes. It has a lot of nutrients. It's really good for your skin and for beauty. So I'm using that as our base so that this drink is really hydrating. I'm going to start adding our featured herb, which is gynostemma. I'm adding three capsules, which is one serving, just emptying the capsules into the warm liquid. Now, gynostemma is a little bitter. So if you've ever, if you have much experience with herbs, some people like to take herbs in the capsule to avoid tasting the actual herb. If you don't like the taste of the herbs, you can just keep it in the capsule. But if you like to take the herbs directly, you can, uh, this is a way you can do it and try to make it a little uh, more palatable by adding other foods to it. Okay, now I'm gonna add a small handful of raw cashew nuts. Cashew nuts have a lot of minerals. Um, for example, they have iron, phosphorus, um, copper, and magnesium. So cashews are really good for your bones. They're good for oral health. They're good for your heart. They actually help uh, support steady blood sugar. And they're going to make this drink nice and creamy. The nice uh, healthy fats in the nuts turn into a nice creamy texture for this uh, tonic. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of organic raw cacao powder. Now, cacao powder is the top uh, food source of magnesium, which is really good for your heart, for cardio health. It's also a mood elevator, so good for your mood. For your mood. It's also good for your immune system, and it's going to make a great flavor. I'm going to add two tablespoons of my favorite protein powder. You can use whatever protein powder you like. This is a vanilla flavor. So just uh, like one serving of protein powder is going to just add a nice protein balance to this. So it's macronutrients and tonic herbs. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of chia seeds. Now chia seeds are one of my favorite foods actually because they have, they're so beneficial. They have a lot of fiber, they're a complete uh, protein, they have all the amino acids, and they also have omega-3s. So just so many good uh, nutritional benefits to chia seeds, and it also gives like a little heartiness to, to this drink. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of coconut oil, and this is warm to a liquid. And the coconut oil is going to be a delivery system to help get these superfoods and the herbs into the cells through the cell membrane, which is made of fat. It's a medium chain fatty acid, so it gets digested and turned to energy right away, so it's good for endurance. So those athletes out there who, who want to be um, supported nutritionally, through these healthy proteins, fats, and fiber, this is going to be a really great nutritionally dense drink. Then I'm just going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla powder for flavor and a pinch of Himalayan salt. The salt, again, good for the electrolytes, good for the flavor balance. and then. There's a little bit of sugar in there with the coconut water. I don't like to use a lot of sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of stevia. This is a vanilla liquid stevia. And we're going to blend it up. OK, I blended it long enough to make sure those cashews got nice and creamy. Oh, look at that. So when you also, when you take herbs in a hot drink, it kind of activates the herb. It makes it a little easier to absorb and to digest. It gets it into your body and to your cells a little bit, a little bit stronger. So that's why I'm using a warm drink to do this. That's delicious. It's creamy, delicious. It's an herbal tonic, all around adaptogen. It's gonna be really supportive to optimal health. I hope you try the recipe. If you have any questions about this recipe or any of the products at Jing Herbs, please email info at jingherbs.com. And if you want to see how your three treasures are doing, go to jingherbsanalysis.com. Until next time, be well.